Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to put together a spreadsheet. Now, this spreadsheet is a Google document spreadsheet, and it's going to be used to contain information for our private caravan that will allow you to have people who are going on the caravan enter their reservation numbers, and uh, you have a way to track all your reservations and your campgrounds that you're going to be going to uh, for the trip. Now you'll also be able to uh, have your activities stored in this spreadsheet. So what you're going to do at campgrounds, you can put in the activities section. So first of all, you're going to need a Google account. And so you go to Google and you've already logged into Google. So up here at the top, you're going to enter sheets.google.com and it's going to give you something like this. And we're going to choose start a new spreadsheet at the top. When you start a new spreadsheet, it'll give you a blank spreadsheet like this. And all we're going to do is we're going to create columns across the top and we're going to make it where we can uh, share it. So for our columns, we're going to put in campground and then we're going to put in uh, inclusive dates. These are sleep nights, if you will. And then who's going to be responsible for that campground or dealing with the campground. And then we're going to put the campground phone. And then we're going to put the names of the people who are going. For example, the Smiths, the Jones, and the, um, we'll put my name, Griffin. And uh, the, um, um, that's, that's enough. I guess I'll put one more. Let's see here. Well, no, I won't, I won't bother. All right, so we got three people going on this caravan. We could fill all these across all the way, but let's just use it like this. So now what we can do is we're going to go in and we're going to select all these cells and we can uh, decide that we're going to just fill that with a color like uh, blue and we can make it bold and we can go in and center it. So now it looks kind of nice. And now what we're going to do is we're going to allow more room for the campground. So I'm going to uh, move the cursor here so we can expand that field. And we have more room to put our campgrounds. And one thing uh, we want to do is be able to put the phones and we, in here and we can expand that field if we need it by just grabbing these little things at the top and scooting them over. If you haven't used Excel spreadsheets, hopefully this will be a help. If you used Excel before, this is very easy. Um, uh, so what we'll do now is we're going to put the campgrounds in here, and I'm going to put uh, KOA1 Nash, or I just put KOA Nashville, and then we'll drop down and we'll put uh, KOA uh, Jonestown, and then we'll put down, um, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jones Park, Orlando. I'm just making up names. So. Now what's going to happen is we'll fill in the dates here. Like we're going to stay here June 1st through the 3rd. 6, 1 through the 3rd, which means we get up the morning of the 4th and we leave. Okay, and then we're going to put, uh, we're going to say that uh, John is responsible for this campsite and its phone number. And then we're going to leave these blank. Okay. Now that's John Smith, who's going to be responsible for that. So on the fourth, we're going to get here and we're going to be here until the 10th, let's say. And John's going to be responsible for that one. And we'll put a phone number in, etc. Now what we want to do here is we, we simply want to be able to go in and fill in this thing. Uh, we're going to get here the 11th and we're going to leave July 1st. And we're, we're going to, um, I'll put down that I'm responsible. And so we put the phone numbers down. Now all we're going to do is we're going to share this spreadsheet with everybody and let them know that they can come in here and whenever they get a reservation, they simply need to go to their cell. For example, when the Smiths make a reservation in Nashville, they're going to select this cell and they're going to put in their reservation number. It's just that simple. As you type these things and as you use them, you can, uh, it automatically saves. So you don't need to worry about whether it's uh, saved or not. And we can also click up here in the spreadsheet name and say um, our trip and give it any name you want to give it. Now that we've saved, uh, we've it's automatically saved. We've called it our trip. We've created our spreadsheet. We go to share over here. 
And when you share, it's going to ask you to enter the names or email addresses of anybody you want to share it with. So what we'll do is we'll put the email addresses of people who are going on the trip and whose names are across the top. In this case, the Smiths, the Jones, and since I'm doing the spreadsheet, I don't need to put mine in. But I would put in the Smiths email address and the Jones email address. And if you see this thing over here, they, the, by default, they have the, benef they have the ability to to edit the file directly. They can go in and edit this sheet anytime they want. When you're done, you click done. And what they'll do is they'll get a uh, an email with a link to this spreadsheet and they'll be able to go here anytime and even put a shortcut up on their browser. Now, what I do with this is I go down and uh, let's say that I now made a reservation okay, for this. So I would call up KOA Nashville when uh, when John tells me it's okay to call, and he does that via the Facebook page, and I'll put in my reservation number, R61224, let's say. And now I've completed my reservation. When everybody, what I ask people to do, because I, like, I, I just like it to be a little fancier, is I ask folks to go in when they do this and just simply turn their cell green. Okay, and that means... You're good. You're good on that. When everybody has turned their cell green, R1288, uh, uh, I'll make up numbers, R9123, when everybody has filled in their numbers and they're all supposed to be green, let's say that the Smiths have uh, done theirs and theirs is now green and the Jones have done theirs and they made theirs green just like this. Okay, when I go in and I'm watching this spreadsheet, I will highlight the entire line green. And that way I know that that campground has been fully reserved and it's good to go. If you have a lot of campgrounds on here, and we've had 30 something on some of ours, and we've had 10 or 10 people out here, uh, it's, so it becomes a pretty big spreadsheet, you can very quickly tell which one of these places are totally done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. The responsible person that you assign, like John, his job is to call that campground first. And he says, hey, I got 10 people coming and uh, we're going to be such and such size rig. Can you accommodate all of us? They say, yes, we can on these dates. And then John says, OK, let me tell you something. The Jones and the Griffins are going to be calling, too, and they're going to be making their reservations in the next couple of days. And please put them in with our group. And the campground goes, OK. After John makes that call, John jumps on our Facebook page and he tells everybody, hey, it's, you can, it's good to go ahead and reserve KOA Nashville, call the number on the spreadsheet and talk to Karen and she'll set you up. And then when everybody does it, they come in here, enter their reservation numbers and they're done. Okay, on the very bottom down here where it says sheet one, okay, I'm going to name, I'm going to select that down arrow there and rename this to reservations. All right, so now that that's been renamed to reservations, you can see, I don't know why it's putting these things up. I'm not familiar with that. But anyway, these reservations down here, this is a reservations tab. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another tab down here at the bottom called activities, okay? And on the activities tab, and I'm going to do that by selecting this plus sign, add a sheet. I'm going to rename sheet two to activities. Okay. And so you can see we've got a brand new sheet up here. And what I'm going to do is put the date, miles, uh, place, and then I'm going to put, uh, you can put any other fields you want. It might be the activity. Okay, and then a link. And what you might do here is, let's say we're going to arrive at that first campground. We're going to go down and look at reservations. And it says we're going to be there at KOA Nashville 6-1 to 6-3. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the activities tab. And I'm going to say that on 6-2, on the day after we get there, okay, um, uh, well, let's just say 6-1, 6-1. That's the day of arrival. It took, let's say, 200 miles to get there from the last place, from the place we started. That's just an indicator to help people know how much we're traveling that day. Okay, uh, we're at the KOA Nashville, 
and the activity is going to be uh, camp time. Right, we're not going to do anything. On the 2nd of June, and you can do this any way you want, obviously. We're not traveling any miles. We're still at the KOA Nashville, so I don't put any, if there's no change, I don't put anything. And what we're going to do is we're going to go see the Grand Old Opry. Okay? And um, so I just put that there. And then if you want, you can put a link to the Grand Old Opry's page here. And so people can go, oh, look what we're doing on the 2nd of June. We're going to go to the Grand Ole Opry, and they can click on that link, and it will take them to the web page of the Grand Ole Opry where they can get their tickets or whatever they want. So what do we get from all this? We get a spreadsheet called Our Trip, and we've got a page that will show the activities we're going to do, and everybody can get to it. And we've got another uh, tab on here that is all of our campground information, and when it's all green, we know that we're all done for the trip. And we can share it with everybody so everybody can come in and see it anytime and they can edit it.